Hey guys. So you're interested in making bagels, huh? Alright. Let's do this. This is the egg bagel as you can see. All you really need to do is stretch it around your knuckles, the dough, and then snap it off with this finger with a thumb. And you're good. Get another piece, do the same thing. Stretch it, stretch it around your knuckles. If you do it around your hand, you're doing it wrong. You're supposed to be on your knuckles, so when you roll it out, it, it gets to stick to each other. So. Then you snap it with the thumb, and then you roll it, one pass, and then you take it off your hands. One pass, take it off your hands. One pass, take it off your hands. One pass. And that's how it should look, look at that. Chipping. Now you're gonna hear a noise, cause everybody's still working here. No, this is, we're busy. So, they're still working. Winding down, but still working. Alright. Look, all it takes is just practice. Like everything else. Anybody can learn how to walk, anybody can learn how to do this. The hardest thing for a human to do is to walk. That's the hardest skill to, for you to acquire. Alright, okay. Start another board. Alright. I do five across, seven. Uh, Five and seven for 35. And three dozen. Some people who make bigger bagels make uh, four and six. You don't really need that, in my opinion. But if that's what you do, that's your thing. Thank but you. You can maximize space in your walking box if you do. Now these bagels are, are, are you know New York style bagels, so you could use them for sandwiches. You could, oh, see? I didn't press that down hard enough. You can use them for sandwiches. So they're pretty big, you know? It's not like they're small bagels. Right? No. Alright. Keep going. Keep going. Come on, guys. You can do this. You can do this. Now these are the old, old fashioned bagels. They're uh, mixed in a barrel mixer, not a spiral mixer. So the consistency of the dough is, is stronger. It's not a straw, which that's what we look for. The barrel mixers tend to be more, um, they're, they're higher maintenance, because they tend to be old, so you gotta take care of them more. But the product is much better. You really get an authentic bagel out of a barrel mixer. And then you top it off with hand roll and you use the right the right blower on your walking box. You don't want a refrigerator in there. You don't want that type of blower. Alright? And then of course then boil and the kettle. Not a rack oven, or, no, no, no. Boil, like it was meant to be. And then they go in the oven. So yeah, we really do the original bagel, like it was intended to be. People nowadays swear by things that I call breads, which, I think it's ridiculous. It's just that they get used to such a low quality bagel. It's just a bread with a hole in the middle. That's not a bagel. Okay? A bagel is supposed to be... Supposed to have like a shelf, hard on the outside, soft on the inside. 
That's a bagel. If it's soft on the outside, you're eating a bread, my friend. You're eating a bread. I'm trying to stay calm and collected when I talk about this because it just makes me laugh to say the least when I hear people saying that some bagels are bagels and they swear by him. I said, you know, you never had a real New York style bagel. But let me give you an FYI. I'm actually in New Jersey. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. New Jersey. We could compete with any bagel shop in New York. We stand right up with them. In my opinion, a lot of New York bagels are not bagel shops neither. Yeah, I said that. They're just not. They're cheating. Yeah, they need to maximize their um, their productivity, which I totally disagree. Just charge more for a bagel instead of putting a machine to make them, or putting a spiral mixer because you want the dough softer so you can roll it easier. Oh yeah, we don't cut corners, so I'm against that. You're looking for authenticity. Cannot even speak. Alright. So, anyway, that's how to make a bagel. And I just I just topped it up with a little rant. <laughs> but, uh, hope you get to find out what's a real bagel if you haven't. Hasta la vista. Ciao.